You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. So you me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a with an alternate Let's Play episode of Midnight Wolf. So y'all have told me there's a bit of a different ending depending on which choice you pick, so I'm gonna go with the second choice now. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go! <laughs> the chick you rescued. Uh, Crystal, yeah. Uh, trapped in a crystal of all places. Fox wipes his muzzle of apple- his muzzle of his apple juice as he says that. I've seen your photos on the tabloids. You look good for each other. That's what I thought at first. Tell me your story. Well... After we saved the planet, she wanted to come and join the team. Uncle retired recently, so we had an opening. Seemed like perfect timing. She learned the, per the ropes really fast. It didn't take long for her to be ready for action. She was eager to fight. We took, we took some easy jobs in the meantime while she improved. But when things got more intense, I kept her away from the action. At first she was a newbie, after all. It was a good enough excuse early on. It was getting pretty obvious I was sidelining her long after her training period. Of course she pressed that she wanted to contribute to the team. I kept saying this is how we do things. I couldn't keep that charade on forever. She... Damn. It's hard to talk like this. Can I have a sip of that? Fox glares at my glass half full. Sure. Fox finishes my drink in one big swig. Blech! How awful do you drink? How awful? How do you drink this? You don't. You just get used to it. He cleared his throat before continuing. But anyway, this was the mission where it all fell apart. He looks to the dark corner of the bar. It was supposed to be an easy mission, escort some merchant ships from the asteroid field. She was insisting she take frontline this mission, I was holding her back too long. I finally relented and let her take the lead on this, while I was rear guard. I was hoping it was going to be a boring mission, but it's never that easy. We heard a scream from the merchant ships. How did space pirates get past you, you of all people? It wasn't space pirates. It was a bird. A giant space bird. What? Eggs of the Rex Phoenix. They were hatching in their hold and the mother was flying through space to chase them. Once it heard where its babies were, the battle was on. I told Crystal to let us handle it, keep watch over the escorts. At first she listened, but then Froggy got shot down. Falcon went on, went down to an asteroid to pick him up. She asked if I was okay. I said I was, barely. I lost a wing. Bob couldn't get any supplies out. She, she couldn't just watch me die there. Crystal started screaming to let her help. I said I could handle it. So she charged right at the bird, blocking the energy blasts for me. They gave me the opening to fly behind the bird, sh shot both of its wings off. Charged my laser for the finishing blow to the head. The bird burst into the flames as we made our escape. Mission accomplished. Everyone got back home safely. Even got a nice bonus. But once we got back home, she was done. <sighs> I didn't treat her like an equal. She wasn't fragile. She's a fighter as much as any of us. And I was denying her chance to prove herself. And when she finally did, she took her cut and left. After that, we sat there in silence for a time. Fox, you okay sharing all that? I'm fine. In hindsight, I don't think we would really work out anyway. It was just kind of ex expected, right? Foxes dating foxes. It made for good headlines, but I didn't make. But I didn't make our team just. But I didn't make our team just to follow orders and expectations. We preferred doing things our own way. Was she really so bad? She turned you gay? Fox snorted at that. Maybe he needed that. <laughs> I still like girls, Wolf. Crystal is doing a fine on her own. Maybe she'll even make her own team. So, just a little curious. I guess, yeah, I don't really feel like this with anyone else except you, though. Lobosexual? Have you ever done it with guys before? No, I don't know anything beyond... I don't know anything beyond you do it up, up there. It's called anal sex. Y yeah, that. And you had sex with Crystal. I mean, of course, that makes me a top, right? She was my first time. Good, so I'll be taking on a total some total noob. You're gonna... Let you fuck me? Why not? It took the third date before we slept together. Well, that's the cool part about guys. I nudge my seat closer to his. We know what we like. I place my hand on his thigh. We know what we want. I whisper into his ear. It's free real estate. No. And I... Want... You. He turns to look at me, face to face. Wolf. I lock his mouth against mine. Hmm. He's pretty good at this. His tongue takes control of it, but as we make out, I hug him even tighter. My heart, my hand slides under his clothes to feel his fur. He's firm, but the fur gives in a bit. Perfect. We release our mouths to catch our breath. S sorry, was that too forward? You're fine, Fox. 
I like a guy who takes control. But now it's my turn. We lock our mouths we lock our mouths again. Nothing else matters right now. It's just us. I think a war hero and a space pirate would ever be together like this. But here we are. A heat rises inside me, down to my loins. Pet Fox feels the same. I pat him a bit on his pants. He chuckles a bit as I feel the hardness growing. He motions his hand to do the same. He knows how I feel now. I want to go further, but not here. We release our mouths again, satisfied with that moment. Huh. <laughs> hey, Fox. Y yeah? You want to finish this at my place? My bike's still at the park. You sure? We well, just drank, you know. You mean you just drank? I only had a cup and a half. You're not wrong, but you sure you can do this? Do you trust me? He pauses for a moment. I do, Wolf. Just just do drive carefully, please. I'll do my best for you. So come on. Let's get out of here. We get up from the stools, adjusting our crotches a bit. I tell Fox we don't need to pay right now. But the Boy Scout insisted on leaving a tip for the otter. We leave the bar and make our way back to the park. Fox grabs my hand tightly. We don't waste any time getting back where we started. Oh, so that was yours. I saw it on the way in. At the entrance to the park, my bike sets. The parking ticket stuck right on the seat. Shit, I thought I parked this properly. The parking lot is around the corner, Wolf. God damn it, I'll take care of this tomorrow. Let's not have this ruin the night, alright? Sure, Wolf. I crumple the ticket into my pocket and pull my keys out. My keys bring, bring my bike to life. I take my seat and beckon Fox to me. No helmet, Wolf? We're not that far away, Fox. Just hold on tight to me. We'll be home in no time. My life is in your hands. Uh, no pressure. Fox moves to sit behind me. He hugs me tight in his arms, stronger than he looks, too. Alright, Fox, let's rock and roll. On the way home, or at least the place I sleep, Fox is holding on tight. Maybe he's liking what he's feeling. I like it, too. I'll take it easy on the gas. I want to enjoy this. The road's free of everyone except us. I feel Fox nudging his muzzle against my back. You know, I never got a good look at those scars of yours. Oh, these? How'd you get them? Another training accident? Initiation. Venom Army knew my flying skills, but it wasn't the best at close combat. They dropped me and a chameleon into a pit and made us fight. Same one on your team? What a first impression I what a first impression am I, right? You'd be surprised how much damage a tongue could do, and how good it feels. Did you The guy's obsessed with my carnage, but he's not my type. Too cold blooded. Hmm. What about you, Fox? Those notches on your ear? A mark of victory. And when I took on the Emperor? I don't know if it was a hologram or something, but his giant-ass head swallowed my ship and chewed me up literally. Don't get me started on his true form. I knew he had a big head, but he was just regular ape size when I first met him. Although near the end, all of his communication stopped being in person. Figured he was just paranoid. He was experimenting on himself, too. Not sure to what end since I took him out. Something something evolution new breed. Fox chuckles at that. We go silent as we listen to the road. Fox seems to have nodded off in the meantime. Make a few turns into the harbor. The bad side of town. But the rent's cheap. I poke the dozing fox behind my shoulder. Fox, we're here. Mer. <laughs> I parked my bike under some shelter of sheet metal I scrounged. Would love to get my own garage, but that costs extra. Fox draggily stands up for my bike. I'm up, I'm up, Wolf. Just resting my eyes. <laughs> you sure you were? Like an L? Hmm, <laughs> sure you were. This is... a dump, yeah. Rustic. Don't have to sugarcoat it, Fox. After our base got seized, my team, my team just took our separate ways. We only get together when there's work to do. Well, there is a vacancy on our mothership. Already planning on your, our wedding, aren't you? It'll just be hard to quit getting out of a hole when you live in a place like this. I know, pup. But I want to handle this part of my life on my own. I can't be a good boyfriend if I need too much support from you. Heh, <laughs> you're not wrong. Come on, it's just up the stairs here. I lead, I lead Fox around the corner and up rusted, salted iron stairs. Fox wraps his arms behind me as I fish for my keys. Found them. Jiggling them in and twisting the knob until the lock releases. Finally, it opens. I take my, I take my steps back home. I try to keep the place clean. Military training didn't completely rub off me. But you could easily step on a needle outside. I stretch and sigh as I pull off my boots. Fox takes a good look around all this. Sniff. Musty, but it smells like you do. Yeah, this place doesn't have the best ventilation. I keep the windows open when I'm here, not like I have anything worth stealing. You need water or anything? It's filtered. Sure, Wolf. Everything I need to live is right here. At least the bathroom is in a separate room. I check my phone again. 12 a.m. I grab two glasses from the shelf and pour some water for me and the fox. I hand him liquid while I gulp mine down. 
Ah, he needed that. You good to go, Fox? I turn to him. He's looking out the window while sipping his water. I take light steps to sneak behind him. A hug. This place is pretty dingy, but there's something serene about being close to water. Gonna get a ba gonna get a beach house together? Maybe. I start unzipping my coat off Fox. The neckerchief stays on. My hand slides under his shirt. He takes his time unbuttoning it. You really want to do this? I, I do. He turns to face me. Svelte gets soft. I take my time feeling him down. Feeling him. Down to his chest to his gut. Up to his arms. I stop but I notice the scar on his shoulder. Where did that come from? You, actually. In our first fight, you landed the first hit and knocked me around my ship hard. The canopy even cracked against my impact. Whoa. I'm sorry, Fox. It's fine, Wolf. Yeah, it hurt, but you really left a mark on me. I touch around his scar. He does tense up a bit, so I don't go further. Never thought I'd hurt my date like this. Like I said, it's all in the past. What matters is now. And now it's your turn. He pulls up my shirt. I throw it aside. You're firm. You too. You smell good, too. His cologne's faded completely now. I can get the full whiff of his scent. I crave it. I want more. I gently guide Fox to my bed as we embrace. It's time. It's penis time. I pull down Fox's pants. Yeah, and then, uh... Yeah, okay. Heh. <laughs> Boxer briefs. Damn you're packing, pup. Been hard ever since the bar. I tease him a bit, grabbing his junk down there. On a closer look, you can see a strain, you can see a stain of pre. I lay, I lay my fingers on his waistband. I tease him slowly, pulling them down. Oh god. Bloop. There it is. Not as big as me, but that just makes him even more adorable. <laughs> nice dick, pup. The thanks, Wolf. I don't really know what to do. You can guide me on this? Fox, Fox being a follower? That's news to me. Very well. I lean down to his, yeah, his popsicle. It's a leaky faucet now. My lips touch the, touch the popsicle. Fox grunts at that touch. Excited, are we? I get to work. Slup, shloop. I've been waiting, I've been waiting to do this for a while now. Slup. Wolf! Hmm? You're really good at this. I pause to speak. You're welcome. Nope. Men are the best popsicle suckers. We know what we, know what we like best. Fox leans back on the window, enjoying the moment. For a little while, anyway. As hot as this is, Wolf, can we do this somewhere else? Someone might be watching me moaning out the window. <laughs> not much one, not much one for exhibition. I did it back. I do it. I do it in the back alleys all the time. Wolf. I know. I know. I rise and guide Fox to my bed. He takes a seat as I unzip my pants. What are you wearing, Wolf? Oh, this? Oh, it's a jock strap. So, that's why Falcon has... Ooh, gonna share this with him? Not yet. I like what I'm seeing, though. I turn around to show him the goods. Like what you see? I lean forward, I lean forward to give him a better look. I suddenly feel a pair of hands grabbing me. I'm into this. Go on, pup. Don't be shy. Explore as much as you please. I turn to crawl up to him. He starts touching my face, my muscles, my bulge. Am I man enough for you? You're the first. He tugs on the straps. Go on. He doesn't hesitate. What do you think? It's huge. Good thing it's not you getting pounded tonight. I stay still as he explores me. Holding both our popsicles in hand, comparing. For someone who's only done girls, he's really focused on our sizes. I press against him. Oh my. Then push him right on the bed. Oof! Holding him close. He struggles to grab back. Wolf, heavy! Don't deny it, you're loving this. I grind my popsicle against his, shoving my body closer. Musky ass. Twink ass. <laughs> ah! I look back and see a bit of, uh, juice drip from his, uh, drip from the popsicle. Don't get too cocky, Fox. We're not done yet. I get off him to cool down, to cool down, cool him down and rummage through my drawer. There we go. Good dragon loot. Don't we need to loosen you up or something? Don't need to do... You don't need to worry about me. I dab some of my fingers. Slick. Oh my. I bend backwards to... to... yeah. I got plenty of experience. I return to Fox and slick up his popsicle with the lube as well. Limbing over him, I aim the popsicle under the tail. 
Let me ride you for a bit. Just let me know if I get to get too rough with you. He nods. A few taps on his uh, popsicle. Locked on. I take a seat. Ah, fuck! Yep! He actually said yep. <laughs> so cute. God, how long has it been? I really needed this. How you feeling? You're so tight. This is my cockpit. I start bouncing on him slowly, getting a feel for it. Sensual like. Fox places his hands on my chest, feeling me up. I return the favor. Used to grabbing boobs, huh? It's different. Maybe better? It's okay. I enjoy getting the petting. I speed up my bunk. My hums and watches Fox tries to keep his cool. He's grabbing the sheets now to keep himself down. Doesn't look like he'll come yet, but he's still not sure of himself. Huh! 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 Is that all you got, pup? I cross my arms at him. Grrr! Where's that fire in you? Let me see you take control. He raises his hands against my waist. Fuck, wolf! He pulls me in close, can barely move. Finally, he stops fooling, stops fooling around. He starts pounding me. Hard. Ugh, that's it, pup. Ugh! Show me what you're made of. Plap, plap, plap. That's it. Fuck yes, Fox. Damn this boy some leg strength. He's pounding harder than me. Ugh! My popsicle bounces against his abs as he works. I, I could... Arroo. Ropes of uh, sticky uh, popsicle residue squirt out, squirt out of the, the my, my hand, landing right on Fox's face and chest. Damn it, Wolf! Give me a warning next time. <laughs> Sorry, pup. You're just too fucking hot for me. Finish in me if you can. <laughs> Here it comes. A few final pumps and he releases inside. Yes, fill me up. I fill him. Oh God, that is awful. Weird sound! I feel him, uh, yeah, I feel that gush, and yeah, that, mm-hmm. Even my popsicle feels like going again. I jerk, I jerk off the popsicle and squirt a few more drops out. Huh. Huh, shit, Fox. Huh, how do you like that? I think we're a hot mess right now. Fox looks down to see himself covered in, uh, popsicle juice. I pull out of him, moaning as the, uh, popsicle juice drips out of me. I roll over to lay, I roll over to lay beside him. I poke around behind me and grab some of that fox milk. Taste it. Gross. Delicious. Wanna try? No thanks, Wolf. Heh. <laughs> it's alright, pup. Just messing with ya. Fox takes deep breaths before touching my face. It was a lot of fun, though. Well, if you stick with me, we can do it every night. Ha. <laughs> ha. Maybe. After all, after all that, I get a maybe? I mean, no. We're boyfriends now. It's gonna be tough hiding us, though. Do we really have to hide it? And for a little while, I promise. I have to take it. Have to take some time getting my team used to you walking around the ship. Maybe I can come over for a game of cards sometime. It's a friendly game, you know. And when I run out of money, I'll hang out in your room next time. A long time. The dream. Doesn't have to be. It's real now. What would your team think? I rule over them with fear. But they already know I had feelings for you already. If anyone was gonna tan my hat, it would be you. Still remember that one, eh? I wouldn't mind you doing me sometime. Maybe the next time? For sure next time. Sorry, yeah, I'll stop being ambiguous. I lay down to stare at my ceiling. Fox rolls around and to hold on to me. What's the plan in the morning? No idea, but I can figure some excuse. About why you're so happy for some reason? Uh, something like that. I can take a shower in the morning, right? Yeah, that at least works. It's warm, too. I can help you out in there if you want. I'd like that. We start to nod off as the sounds of the sea soothe us. What a night. It's way past my bedtime now. We'll get some sleep then. We got the future ahead of us. He snuggles close to me. And Fox? Yeah? We're boyfriends now, right? We are. I turn to face him. He kisses me goodnight. Goddard, you did such a great, such, uh, such an awesome visual novel. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This has been the last episode of Midnight Wolf, unless it, you know... Gets more, uh, I don't know, it gets, gets, a, gets a DLC or something. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. And a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.